Oh love, this is a beautiful day. This day I woke up and the bells of love were ringing. Whatever that meant, I said. Do you hear them tinkling? <laughs> I said, I'm following, I'm following love today. And so I put on my beautiful dresses and fun stuff, even though even though I'm a chubby girl, you know, and a lot of times I'm like, I can't do that. I've got to always wear black because I have to tone it down <laughs> instead of accentuate. Whoa, <laughs> how about accentuating, you know, like what if we lived in a different culture and we could just like love it up? <laughs> well, it's time, darling. We are the new culture. This is the new life. This is chubby love here. <laughs> and of course we want to be um, having fitness and mobility and strength. And so we kind of want to do both at once, you know, just, just lose enough and not lose the stuff. <laughs> So we're, we're starting um, this breatharian journey of smoothies and pranic eating and pranic partner dancing, all kinds of things, goodies we've got for you in the gaining lightness journey. Mainly first, gaining the lightness of heart. You know, the heart, is, first of all, weight loss shows um, primarily in the face when it begins and then it moves down the neck and the shoulders. But it also shows in the face because your joy comes back when you love yourself enough to cleanse a little bit and, and not overdo it with anything that's bad for you and start to invigorate yourself with a lot of what's great for you, like smoothies. So we've been posting a lot of smoothies on Instagram under our channel called uh, Gaining Lightness. Uh, Kate Cormier and I and then we have the Divine Feminine Passion Course that I'm working on every day working on getting it a little bit more designed for you and and uh, wanted to remind you chubby girls out there that you know we, we love ourselves today as we are and we love ourselves enough to be healthy as well as voluptuous right but I had a friend of mine who had a young woman friend she's only like 23 and she was a virgin still and she was like look guys in the United States they don't like my type of body and my friend said to her oh wow go to my culture go to Peru see what happens so she goes there and six months later she's had like 60 lovers something amazing she just said she was so loved up they were such great lovers and they were so handsome and they were so good at pleasuring her body that she came back completely transformed completely renewed with a whole different identity as a goddess rather than you know um, the one not to be looked at or not to be seen and I know for myself when I change that mind frame I dress differently and I walk differently and I feel differently <laughs> and for, instead of feeling less than everybody else I feel like a queen among goddesses you know so this is who you are so show it off today this is a spring day this is a beautiful spring day girlfriend show it off would you please we need to see your cleavage <laughs> we need to see you walking in the grace of your hips flowing in a skirt that's comfortable and you don't have to always you know just be in those black pants <laughs> I feel like I've been <laughs> that's been my uniform for years because <laughs> I haven't felt like I've always felt like I'm trying to make my body look like a different body that's a skinny body and the black will help me with that <laughs> you know but what if we don't what if we do weight loss as a journey of gaining lightness lightness of heart lightness of spirit and lightness of body where the breath is flowing through every cell where the that we have flexibility and strength and mobility and we are um we're just free to run and walk and hike uh but we we're also you know free to like lounge and relax and and flounce and be sensual and round and not have to overdo it with tons of reps that, of body things that make us hard like a man let's just do it to the level that feels great in our feminine essence and doesn't take it up to some level that great starts giving us too much testosterone and too much masculine 
uh, feelings in our body and, and, and tenseness and tightness and, you know, come on, we don't need that. It's only American men who don't love big women, girlfriend. Seriously. So just, you know, start to date guys from other cultures and you'll learn that you can have a lot of fun and you can be gorgeous and worshipped right now. <laughs> Come on. The African-American women know this well. <laughs> if you ask one of them, hey, so are you thinking about weight loss? They're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> My men do not want me to lose a thing. They want more to love. So it's a really fun thing when, when you, you white guys start to realize you don't have to be brainwashed into, you know, wanting girls, young girls as your archetype. Uh, you, when you st can start opening your uh, attraction level to women and the way women's bodies change and get bigger and curvier, and you could open your attraction level to uh, basically handle um, powerful older women, um, curvier, bigger women. This, it's the, the, in, you know, like, oh, I can handle big power. Because when you're always attracted to only the archetype of the girl, you're, you're basically saying, I can't handle a woman. She's going to over, overdo me. But, <laughs> you know, a real man, he can. He can handle. There's a lot to handle. <laughs> All right. So... Gain lightness together, okay? Heart, body, and soul. We have a whole adventure to take you on. You know that? We do. Uh, Kate Cormier and I are working on this channel of Gaining Lightness. It's on Instagram. And we're also working on the Divine Feminine Passion Course, which is all about taking you into your passionate journey as a woman and helping men be part of that. And couples really get what that's about and what that will give them. Ooh. <laughs> so just connect with me at love life with eve at gmail.com the course will be up and running in a couple months save up your money it won't be too pricey it'll just be enough to keep you ow 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 <laughs> all right love you so much love life darling love life love life dare to love yourself today you know i i went through a little bit of a problem journey this morning to put on you know a flouncy skirt and just show my body because i was like how dare i on one hand i'm afraid of being there's the feeling of oh i'm going to be ashamed because i don't look uh, skinny and then the other part is like oh i don't want to show off how amazing i am and make other f women feel inadequate if they don't have big boobs and big booty you know but all of that's just like it's all outer outer fear because everybody's beautiful as they are everybody's adequate as they are we can shine and inspire others and they'll be fine <laughs> we'll inspire them love we'll inspire them okay do it do it inspire everybody today show it